We are continuing to learn more information on that officer-involved shooting that happened in the West Hills area back on December 2nd. The Knoxville Police Department releasing body cam footage yesterday of one of the officers in action. WATE 6 On Your Side reporter Molly O'Brien spoke with KPD's former chief about what went right and what went wrong. The Knoxville Police Department responding to the 6800 block of Pembrokeshire Lane after dispatch got a text that said, quote, need help ASAP. That lack of information leaves the officer or officers at a, at a significant disadvantage. This is video from Officer Aram Ismail as she approached the home. Former police chief Phil Keith describing this part of the video as tactically sound. So she rang the doorbell, didn't get an immediate response. And then she backed off, which, you know, again, gives you more space, more time to make the kind of decisions that they have to make in a split second. As the body cam footage continues, you can see the officer back away from the door and the garage door opening. It takes just seven seconds from when the garage door starts to open to the officer turning, firing, and then running around the house and making the shots fired call on the radio. Or the observation of the officer, the camera's in the center mass, so... The angle of the camera is going to be different than her eyes, and it's more important to know what she sees. And when she saw it, uh, she apparently saw a weapon or thought she saw a weapon. He says a critical piece of information is whether the officer's finger was on the trigger or not. He says he can't clearly see that in the video. Well, unless the training has changed, the finger doesn't go on the, on the trigger until you intend to take someone's life. Uh, so, you, you know, training, my, my memory is, is we always train to have the finger off the trigger. You hear two voices on the video, Officer Ismail and another unidentified officer. Keith pointed out the two officers gave different commands to the individual. Here's a snippet of what he's talking about. Here. Walk to me. Hey, stop right there for a second. No, 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 no I want to see his waistband. In most cases, the senior officer takes charge of the, of the scene okay. and becomes a, kind of the incident commander, if you will, temporarily for that call. Uh, I'm not sure I, I saw that. It sounded like you had two different people giving commands. KPD says Officer Ismail has returned to assignment. The Office of Professional Standards continues to investigate. The mere fact that she's back on her duty station means that administratively, they're not looking at anything but other than maybe a training failure or perhaps a minor policy issue. In Knoxville, Molly O'Brien, WATE, six on your side. Keith also yeah. pointed out that the other officer's body camera footage will help fill in the missing information. Interesting to walk through that sure. and look at some of those moves. Officer Ismail, by the way, is a brand new officer, a 2023 graduate of KPD's Basic Recruit Academy.